All right, here we go. Part three of our series on all of China's provinces. Today, we start with Jiangsu, a coastal province in eastern China. It's the most densely populated province, though only if you count provinces only, not directly administered municipalities. It borders Shanghai to the southeast, Zhejiang to the south, Anhui to the west, and Shandong to the north, and to its east is the Yellow Sea. China's largest river, the Yangtze, or Changjiang, passes through the province and empties into the sea between Jiangsu and Shanghai. Its capital is Nanjing, but its largest city is Suzhou. Jiangsu is famous for many things, including the classical gardens of Suzhou, as well as imperial palaces and tombs in Nanjing, from when that city was the national capital at various times in the country's history. One infamous historical fact about Nanjing is the Nanjing Massacre in 1937, in which the invading Japanese army murdered 300 to 350 thousand civilians. The province also has one of China's largest freshwater lakes, Lake Tai. In most of Jiangsu, Mandarin is the main language, but in the southeast of the province, Wu Chinese, also known as Shanghainese, is spoken too. The name Jiangsu is a compound of Jiangning and Suzhou, Jiangning being the former name of Nanjing. The province's one character abbreviation is Su, which is the second character of the province's full name. Jiangxi is in southeastern China, and it borders Fujian to the southeast, Guangdong to the south, Hunan to the west, Hubei to the northwest, Anhui to the north. And Zhejiang to the northwest, the capital and largest city is Nanchang. One thing Jiangxi, and specifically the city of Jingdezhen, is known for is its excellent porcelain. Historically, Jiangxi is known as the first place where the Chinese Communist Party, with help from the Soviet Union, established a functioning, though diplomatically unrecognized, state. The Chinese Soviet Republic. Which had its capital at Beijing, that city is still one of the province's best-known tourist attractions. Though the party abandoned it when they were surrounded by the nationalists and began the long march to Shanxi, the local variety of Chinese in Jiangxi is called Gan Chinese and is mutually unintelligible with Mandarin. The name Jiangxi is a contraction of an older name, Jiangnan Shidao. Jiangnan refers to the broad area south of the Yangtze River, which is quite a ways north of Jiangxi. Shidao means Western Circuit. The province's one-character abbreviation is Gan, after the Gan River that flows through the province. Jilin is in northeastern China. It borders Liaoning to the southwest, Inner Mongolia to the west, Heilongjiang to the north. And to the southeast, it has over half of China's border with North Korea, plus a small border with Russia to the east. It also has a substantial number of ethnic Koreans who are Chinese citizens. Its capital and largest city is Changchun. It's also somewhat unusual for having a city in it with the same name as the province itself, Jilin City. Historically, Jilin is known for having been the center of the puppet state of Manchu Guo. Which was set up by Imperial Japan. They made Changchun their capital and renamed it Xinjiang, literally "new capital." Like most of northeastern China, Jilin is known for its heavy, savory cuisine. The name of Jilin is interesting because it's originally in the Manchu language, where it sounds like "girin ula," and means "along the river." It was rendered into Chinese as Jilin Ula, and later shortened to simply Jilin. If you were to read those Chinese characters literally, it could be interpreted as something like "lucky forest." But since it's a transliteration from Manchu, it doesn't actually refer to a forest. The one character abbreviation is Ji, the first character of the full provincial name. Liaoning is just south of Jilin in northeastern China, and it also borders Inner Mongolia to the northwest and Hebei to the southwest. 
To its south are two arms of the Yellow Sea, namely the Bohai Sea and Korea Bay. And to its southeast is the international border with North Korea. The capital and largest city is Shenyang. Another city of interest is Dalian on the peninsula in the south of the province. Liaoning is known for its role in the history of the Manchu emperors who founded China's Qing dynasty. Before they conquered Beijing and moved their capital there, they had their capital in Mukden, modern-day Shenyang. There's still a palace there where they used to live. Some parts of the province are known for spectacular seascapes, including Dalian, which is also known for European architecture thanks to being briefly controlled by Russia. Liaoning is named for the Liao River that passes through the province, while Ning is a word for peace or serenity. The one-character abbreviation, Liao, is the first character of the full provincial name and the name of the aforementioned river. Ningxia is an autonomous region in northwestern China designated for the Hui people. Most of its northern half is surrounded by Inner Mongolia, while most of its southern half is surrounded by Gansu. It also has a short section of border with Shanxi to the east. Its capital and largest city is Yinchuan. Unlike the other autonomous regions, Ningxia has only one official language because the Hui people speak the same language as China's Han majority, the Chinese language. What distinguishes the Hui people from the Han people is primarily their practice of Islam, and this plays an important role in Ningxia. One can find many mosques here, including the Tongxin Mosque that was built during the Yuan Dynasty in the 1300s. Islam is certainly not the only religion here, though, as you can also find an important Buddhist site, the 108 stupas near Qing Tongxia. Another important fact about Ningxia is that it's a major center for winemaking. It's one of China's smallest provincial divisions, and yet it makes up about a quarter of the country's total wine output. Ningxia was once the center of the Western Xia dynasty that held sway before the Mongol conquest, not to be confused with the legendary Xia dynasty that may have preceded the Shang much earlier. The second character of Ningxia's name comes from this Western Xia dynasty, while the first, Ning, means peace or serenity, and was given when the Mongols conquered the area, thereby pacifying it. The one character abbreviation is Ning, which is the first character of the full regional name. Qinghai in western China is the largest province by area and the smallest by population, though there are three autonomous regions with larger areas and one with a smaller population. It borders Xinjiang to the northwest, Gansu to the northeast, Sichuan to the southeast, and Tibet to the southwest. Geographically, it's mostly on the Tibetan Plateau. And its capital and largest city, Xining, is the plateau's largest city. Qinghai is quite diverse. The Han people, who make up the vast majority of China's population as a whole, are only a majority of about 54% in Qinghai, the slimmest majority of any province, though there are two autonomous regions where Han people are a minority. Not surprisingly for a province on the Tibetan Plateau, there's a high Tibetan population in Qinghai, though there are also quite a few Hui people and other minorities. In Xining, where many of the Hui people live, you'll find famous mosques. Throughout the province, you'll find Tibetan Buddhist monasteries. Both Chinese and Tibetan are widely spoken. Qinghai is where you'll find the headwaters of three of Asia's longest rivers, Southeast Asia's Mekong, known as the Zhachu in Qinghai, and two long rivers entirely in China, the Yellow River and the Yangtze River, or Changjiang in Chinese. One of the most famous sites in Qinghai is its namesake, Qinghai Lake, whose name literally means Green Lake or Blue Lake. Classical Chinese doesn't have two different words for these colors, though contemporary Chinese does. The one character abbreviation is Qing, the first character of the full provincial name, and yes, the one that may mean green or blue. Shanxi is in northwestern China.
and borders Inner Mongolia to the north, Shanxi to the northeast, Henan to the east, Hubei to the southeast, Chongqing to the south, Sichuan to the southwest, Gansu to the west, and Ningxia to the northwest. That's eight other provincial divisions Shanxi borders, a tie with Inner Mongolia for the most. Its capital and largest city is Xi'an. This city is the source of much of Shanxi's fame, as it, or the area around it, has been the national capital at many times in Chinese history. It was the capital for the first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, and today you can find the terracotta army there that was buried to serve him in the afterlife. The city also has one of China's best preserved city walls and two famous pagodas, the small wild goose pagoda and the big wild goose pagoda. Yan'an in Shanxi is also a historical place because it served as the base for the Chinese Communist Party after the Long March. The name Shanxi means west of the Shan Plateau. The first character, Shan, which refers to the plateau, is also the province's one character abbreviation, even though the plateau itself is actually a neighboring Henan. Shanxi's written name in English and most other languages that use the Roman alphabet is unusual because it doesn't follow the rules for the pinyin romanization. Two A's would not normally be written in a row like that, but this was done in order to differentiate the province from neighboring Shanxi, which is written with different Chinese characters, but the exact same pinyin name. Shandong is a coastal province in eastern China. It borders Hebei to the northwest, Henan to the southwest, a tiny sliver of Anhui to the south-southwest, and Jiangsu to the south. To its east is the Yellow Sea, while to its north is the Bohai Sea. The capital is Jinan, while the largest city is either Jinan or Qingdao, depending how you count. Qingdao is one of Shandong's cities that's known for excellent seascapes. It's also known for some German architecture due to the German occupation of the city in the late 1800s and early 1900s. The beer-loving Germans also founded a brewery there that remains the source of China's most famous brand of beer, Qingdao beer. Shandong also has one of China's most famous mountains, Mount Tai. Also, the city of Chifu is famous as the birthplace of Confucius. Shandong's name means East of the Mountains, referring to the Taihang Mountains that are primarily in Henan and Hebei. The one character abbreviation is Lu, after the state of Lu that was located here during the spring and autumn period, and under whose rule Confucius was born. And now we're about three quarters of the way through all of the provinces, so we'll break this off for the last time. We'll restart this next time with the municipality where I live, Shanghai. If you don't want to miss that, this would be a great time to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. See you all next time. Bye.